In this video, we'll balance the double displacement reaction KOH plus MgCl2. Let's count the atoms up on both sides of the equation. So we have one potassium atom, and you'll see I did something here. I have OH together. OH, that's the hydroxide ion, and it stays together. It's a polyatomic ion. So we have OH here, and then we have two OHs over here. So I like to keep it together. It makes it a little easier as you count the atoms up. So we have one OH right here, Mg, we have one, and then two Cl's. On the product side, we have one potassium OH, this two, means we have two of these polyatomic ions, the hydroxide ions, two of those, one Mg and one Cl. Let's fix the chlorines first. Let's put a two in front of the KCl. That means we have one times two. That'll give us two chlorines. Those are balanced, but the two, it applies to everything. So we have one times two. We now have two potassium atoms. Let's just fix the potassiums. If we put a 2 in front of the KOH, we have 1 times 2. That balances the potassium atoms. And then the hydroxide ion, we have one of these times 2. That equals 2. And all of a sudden, this equation is balanced. Quite often when you're working with double displacement reactions, you'll count the polyatomic ion as just one item, as long as it appears on both sides of the equation. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for potassium hydroxide plus magnesium chloride. Thanks for watching.